Gypsy's curse, brewed in a cauldron, a bitter revenge, and flavoured with the venom of the black recall, is only curse. Woe to him who shall be the victim for her. As with death, there is to be no escape for the full, full measure. Great Peter's featured star and his famous screen lover, making another picture, his company was on location, authentic gypsy camp for atmosphere. Come on, Greg, put more into it. You've got the most important leading lady in our studio contracts in your arms. Okay, let's get over with this. Over with it. It's over with. I've been with you in a few minutes, baby. You just stand by. I don't know if I don't know if I enjoy watching you kiss that girl. Where Peter's was a willing, lying away his time, but look in Lucia's eyes was deep and compelling. Somehow she managed to put him in, at a loss for words. It's like toying with fire. You're quite tonight, little one. My thoughts are the future, Greg. My father already starts the arrangement for our wedding. Yet you haven't spoken of it to him, me. Right? What on earth put such an idea in your head? Idea is love and by idea. To you, have you not that those weeks together been a game to you? You don't spoil everything, haven't you? You enjoyed our friendship too? Friendship? You have deflamed my heart. So you heard her. I told her. I will. So you heard her. Why, well, well, don't ask me where my, you got you, where your daughter got these notions of marriage. I heard nothing but Lucy will soon dry her tears. Uh, tell me what well, I should do. No, Peters. He's the world. Greg, Peters, he's dealing with a problem that could prove troublesome. Without further ado, he made a reasonable suggestion. Joe Wilson, friend and director of his latest film. Let's get back get back to Hollywood, Joe. That's that little gypsy girl's getting in my hair. Heartless beast. All that matters to Greg Peters is Greg Peters. That very night, the cast and assistants started to assemble the equipment to leave the gypsy camp. But the sight of activity which is happening in the shadows. Someone could get hurt before this night is over, and it's not going to be me. What well, a fool I am not to carry a gun for protection. But this was to do the further good, the good fingers. No one is round for me to. They see me stealing from the gyps- those gypsies. Bring him in silence and bring him to the room. Well, my wagon, quiet, or your whole troublesome tongue will be slipped from you. You're going to learn much about the gypsies, Craig. You are held on trail for your actions towards the chieftain's daughter. No harm will come to you if you act as a man of honour, as if it is difficult to believe that, that you do not you do, you do not choose to work with Lucia. We had, we had her would hear your reason, Gringo. Tell him they must stop this foolish baby. You knew I never intended to marry you. Stop, I have heard enough. I release you, and so will you, my people. I curse you, Greg Peters. No woman who loves you will shall, shall avoid death. You shall know endless misery in your heart. Now you untie me. You shouldn't. Well, so long. We won't. Some of you couldn't part as friends. You will remember this night the rest of your lives, Peters. Hope you come. How come you not packing with the others? I was looking for you, Greg. I must say you spent. Sure spent enough time with those gypsies. Look, sweetie. I've got the. Lot to do. No time for chit chat with you. Polite, aren't you? Getting back to Hollywood like with Tony Civilization. No time to pictures finished and tranquility settled over Craig Peter's life. Gypsy curse seemed to be a thing of that forgotten past. Wilson, what's next on the program? Make it good now. Greg, I'd like to see I hope like to see you, you marry Hope Cowell. A girl is madly in love with you. I can't stand that girl the girl. Old oh, man, lucky for her too, according to what what that little gypsy told me. Now what else can 
What else can you think of? What? A silence charged with electricity. A trio, a chain, more hope, cried well. Stepped into this view. It was obvious that she had overheard. Greg denounced her small fate. Was was white and her voice shook, shook when spoken. You listen? Would you mind taking a stroll? I'd like to speak with Greg privately. Certainly, my dear. How charming you look today. Well, excuse me, you two. I was just joking, Hope. You know I'm crazy about you. Tell me more, Greg. Now, you're such a naughty boy, Greg. I wish I didn't lo- love you so. That's better for a minute. I thought you were really angry. I love you until I die, Craig. Oh, what, oh until you do. That would be a part-time job. Full-time job with ten years of being around a long time. But I changed your plans, didn't I, darling? Help, you stabbed me. Help, Wilson, help. What happened? Help. What's wrong? What's wrong? I killed him. He's all yours now, friend. But Hope Cobble has wrong. Craig did escape, escape death by a small margin thanks to his quick thinking. His friend producer Joe Wilson, who promptly telephoned for the ambulance then. Later, have the police got her? If you press charges, Craig, the last picture will have to be junked. If you ch- cost us all filth and money by publicity. I guess you're right, Wilson. I'll have to forget, forget it, the little devil. Forget her. i soon be out of here, too. I arrange for you to have the best care. Hello. Are you part of the queue? I'm, I feel better already. Me, Mr. Wilson? Hi, me, Mr. Wilson. My name's Mary Dell. Hang on now. Come on now. You've got to get well. I'm the, I'm the boss here. I, will get, I don't want to get better. If you, if you take, would take, if it would take, take you away. Dove came quickly to Craig's feet as a wolf of its field in mind and, and healed his wounded body. Before many days have passed, he could no longer keep it secret. Before you go today, I've got to see you, dis- Mary. I desperately completely love you. What have you to, ba- to say about it? I, I, know, I knew I'd go to... I knew. Go to sleep, dear. Then Greg was dismissed from the hospital. He took Mary with him, but not once did the gypsy case come across his mind. Mary to soon, Greg? Of course. Why wait? I, I couldn't love you more than you, you love me. How were you? Now, where are you off to do? You know I hate to have you, you out of my sight. I've got to pick up some dressings at the drugstore. Uh, you're young, but you're back, darling. May soon returned as she was touching his paper with trembling hands. Strange that Craig didn't recall the curse then. I guess my dream, dream is just just a laugh after all. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Tell me. How you read it? How could Will is to wed Peg Peters, and why not? What would a, he have in common with a nurse with the most beautiful... A- but the most beautiful actress in the film land is back and cool. Yeah, well, that's a blasted lie. She's do anything to hurt me. We're, go- we're going to her place. Right now, I want you to hear what I gave- have to say to her. It's- oh, Greg, I hope it's a lie. I want to prove that you- I love you, Mary. This is a good way to do so. This is unpleasant. Why did it have to happen to us? Hope was entertaining guests, but as she invited my visitors to a more private room, rise and mocking in spite of the feigned surprise, newspaper, newspaper report. You know I love you. Tell, I tell you that to Mary. I want her to hear it from you. Why, Greg, darling, what a temper you're in today. Am I to blame for what a bl- rumor about us? Greg didn't even look at the weapon he clutched 
a ray seen within his blotting out all judgment. Greg, don't. Shoot you, devil, I'll kill you. Don't. Mary spake to me. What have I done, Mary? Mary, he stabbed her. I saw it. She was lunging at hope. A girl jumped between them. He didn't mean to kill her. He was going to kill Hope. Mary, darling, I love you so. Hello, please. Isn't it so easy to live with a dead heart? Is it, Greg Peters? Lucille, the curse, the gypsy's curse. It came true. I killed my love. And now we're never no peace again. Greg was led off to prison to suffer endless torture. It would eventually blot the memory of that girl he loved and killed. Well, what avail? For he would have never escaped the penalty of that gypsy curse.